Hello, my friends. This is Brother Des coming to you today from Prophetic Bible Teachings for Sunday, May the 29th, 2022. You may follow this ministry on YouTube, Facebook, My Story, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Pinterest. You can check out the website www.corbanje.com. Make sure now that you view this video, share it with others, and pray for this ministry. Happy Sunday, and God's blessing to you and your families. We continue our studies in chapter 22 of Revelation, the last book, the last book in the Bible, and the last chapter in the book of Revelation. The theme of this chapter is future blessings that God will bestow upon the saints. As we look at the background about this chapter, how we put it together, we saw the blessings of paradise and then the blessings and faithfulness of trustworthiness in the things that will shortly be done. Then we look at uh, the blessings of adhering to the prophecy of this book, the blessings of being a fellow servant and the blessings uh, to teach the prophecy of Revelation, the blessings to follow God and his word, and the blessings of having these teachings in the church of Jesus Christ today, and the blessings for coming to Jesus Christ and knowing him as Lord and Savior. And then the book shows, this chapter rather shows, the curse upon those who will take away from the word of this prophecy and it ends with the blessings of his coming. He is coming again. So let's study for today the blessings and adhering to the prophecy of the book of Revelation. In verse 7 it says, that's our scripture text for today. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. In unpacking this verse, we will break it down into two sections. The first section will be, Behold, I come quickly. And the second section is, Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. As we look at part one, Behold, I come quickly. As we look at that portion of the scripture first, Behold. The word behold in English means to see or observe a thing or a person, especially a remarkable or impressive one. It literally means to regard, to gaze upon, to view, watch, and discern. The word in the Greek New Testament is I do, which is the, a particle that's serving to call attention to. So, second, as we look at this, what, is, what the Bible wants us to pay attention to. I am coming quickly. That's the behold. I am coming quickly. Pay attention to the fact that I am coming quickly. What is important about this statement? One, it is something that people have forgotten about. The fact that Jesus Christ is coming back to this earth. Note what the Apostle Peter stated about his coming. Peter said, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that you might be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scuffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth 
standing out of the waters and in the waters we are by the world that was then being overflowed with water perish but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word meaning the word of god are kept in store preserve or reserve unto fire against that day of judgment and partition of ungodly man but behold be not ignorant beloved because why one day is with the lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day according to peter second peter 3 1 through 8. the fact is he is coming and how quickly the above scriptures already made it clear that one day with the Lord is equivalent to a thousand years and a thousand years as one day because time is not a problem with the Lord. He's infinity. That is the state of being infinite, the concept of something that is unlimited, endless, without bound. God is forever. So what quickly is all about? The word in the Greek New Testament is tetu, which from the root word tetus, which means swift, speedily, quickly, hastily, with inconsiderable haste. In other words, the Holy Spirit of God was not telling John that Jesus Christ was coming tomorrow or next week or next year, or the next 10, or a 100 years. He was presenting the method in which Jesus Christ will return to the earth quickly. For example, the Paul, the Apostle Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, he stated in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 58, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. How? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, but the strength of sin is the law. Because all the above will happen so quickly. As we look at it, note, in a moment, in the twinkle of an eye. You know what is the twinkle of an eye? That's a blink. Infinitesimal time. All these things are going to happen. The trump will sound. The dead will be raised. A changing of this old mortal system to immortality quickly and friends as we look at that because all this above will happen so quickly it says let's give thanks to God which given us the victory through Jesus Christ that we can be ready therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast unmovable Holding on to your beliefs in the Lord, always abounding in the work of the Lord, because your labor will not be in vain. Then again, Paul comforted another group of people. Those were the Thessalonian believers. And over there in um, Thessalonians, you know, this is, this is what he said to them. Listen to this. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall, be, shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be what? Caught up together to meet them in the cloud, together with them in the cloud, to meet 
the Lord in the ear, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Note, shall be caught up. That Those words, caught up in verse 17. That's from uh, a, a, a Greek word in the New Testament. Hapagetzometha. Hapagetzometha. The first person plural, future tense. Hapagetzo. To seize as a wild beast, to take away by force, to snatch away, snatch away, convey away suddenly or transport hastily. Behold, I come quickly. That's the first part. The second part of this verse, blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Let's look at the word blessed. Makario in the Greek New Testament. The act of pronouncing happy. You can say with assurance that if you put your trust in God's word and all the sayings of revelation, you will be blessed. Not only now, but also forever. Keep the sayings of this book. Blessed is he that or she that keeps the sayings of this prophecy. What sayings? We mentioned them last week. Sayings about the rapture. Jesus Christ is coming for his church. The coming great tribulation on the earth. The, the, the second coming of Jesus to the earth. The great battle at Armageddon, the, the judgment on the beasts and the Antichrist and the false prophet will they'll be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. The Gentile armies will be, be, be uh, they'll die by the word of the mouth of the Lord, the word of God, and their bodies will be eaten by the birds. And Satan will be cast into the bottomless pit. And then we find repentance for Israel. They will turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as, as, as their Messiah. Then the setting up of the millennial kingdom for a thousand years on the earth, where his saints will rule and reign with him. Then Satan will be released and he will convince and, 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 and really course the people, you know, of the earth who will be living under Jesus Christ reign in the saints for a thousand years, those who have never turned to the Lord. And they will come against, with Gog and Magog and Satan, against the camp of the saints and the beloved city. And we find that God will begin his program of eliminating sin. Fire will come down from heaven and will wipe away the old heaven and the old earth. And Satan and his angels will be judged and, and cast into the fire, the lake of fire where the beast and the false prophet would have been for a thousand years. And then we find the great white throne judgment where all the participants of the second resurrection will come forth. And they will be examined through the books and then the book of life, which they will not find their names because the second resurrection is unto damnation. And they'll be cast into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. And including hell, death and hell will also be cast into this lake. And then the new heaven and the new earth, the new Jerusalem, the holy city will come into existence. And paradise will be eternal and God's people will live with him forever and forever. And the lamb will be the light. Those are some of the sayings of this book of Revelation that we need to pay attention to. Why? Because they are trustworthy and faithful. That's the book of Revelation, which is highly taught among believers today. The question is, do you want to be blessed and share in the eternal blessings of the Lamb and God forever and forever? Well, you can be blessed. Just make Jesus Christ a part of your life. Ask him today to come into your life and to forgive you of your sins.
and begin living for him. If you do that, find some other believers where you can get together and embrace the word of God. Share his blessings, pray for each other, and be ready that when the trumpet sounds, whether you be living or dead, it will not stop you. You will go up to meet the Lord in the air, and so will you ever be with the Lord. Don't forget, Trust him. Blessings to you and your family. Love, this is Brother Des saying until next time, may God continue to bless you. Amen and amen.